right, what's going on? We got a big one here today. We got a box of Double Master, so I'm really excited about. Price on this has come down a little bit. So I'm gonna crack this one open. I'll roll pretty quickly through the commons, a little less quickly through the uncommons, and of course, kind of savor the rares and everything like that. So enjoy. I've opened one box of these, one box of this stuff, um, a few kind of of the three draft packs. So very much looking forward to this. Let's see what we can get. presentation on this is real nice. Oh yeah. Oh, box topper. Kind of static down there. Very nice. So we'll do this last. Looks good. No bending. No curl. Oh boy. Stress level is high with these. Let me see if I can kind of show what's going on here. So I'm going to take out the stacks. We'll go one row at a time. Let's do the right side first. So we got right, middle, left. A little uneven. It kind of shifted around in transport, but let's get these off camera. All right, here we go. Obviously what we're looking for, Mana Crypt, Force of Will, some rares I'm still really looking for, Cyclonic Rift, a few others. Oh my gosh. All right. And here we go. We got the Dark Steel, Teamer Battle Rage, Elvish Aberration. We got the Icor Wellspring. Not a bad little artifact. Parasitic Strix. We've got the Skin Wing. Very nice, Urza's Tower. Love the artwork in that. I feel like it's pretty cool. Let's go. Let's get this box topper. We'll go lands right there. We got the Alabaster Mage. Alright, into the Uncommons. Treasure Mage. We'll go a little slower with these because there are, like this one, some real nice uncommons. Fatal push. And an Esperzoa. And we've got a token germ. Go foils first, unless we see a rare. Got an uncommon. 3 4 Glass Dusk Hulk. Glass Dust Hulk. I swear I get that one in every opening. And a common Gleaming Barrier. Kind of cool. All right, into our first couple rares. We've got a rare here. Time Sieve. Nice. And a rare green. Heartbeat of Spring. Nice, that is a new rare. I've never got Heartbeat of Spring. Let's go regular rares right here. That's cool. I know they say this one's like a group hug. Um, kind of an enchantment there. That's really neat. Nice. Love to see new stuff. Stuff that I've never gotten before. So pack one. Fatal push. Heartbeat of spring. Success. Come on, pack. Right into it here with pack two. 
I say right into it as I fumble with the wrapper. <laughs> Gotta revoke existence. Hope everyone's having a good day. Happy Friday, happy weekend. Heartless pillage. The costly plunder, always useful. Accomplished automaton. Another parasitic strix. We've got the flare husk. The glint sleeve artisan. Into the uncommons, fencing ace. We've got a mirror smith. And a cranial plating. Pretty cool. Token is a human soldier. We've got a foil Death Hood Cobra. Foils there. We'll put Mythics. Mythics right there. And common. Ooh, Brainstorm. Very nice. Very cool foil Brainstorm. Into a Mythic, our first Mythic. Let's just get into it. We've got a Ensnaring Bridge. Pretty cool artifact there. I think this one has some good value on it. I got this one in my other box, but I think this one has some pretty good value. Can we get a double Mythic pack? Nope, just a rare. Chris Ron, blue. Oh, ho, ho. there we go. We've got the Cyclonic Rift. This is one of my target cards. One of the cards I definitely hope to get from this box. So nice to check that one off the list. I think that's the most expensive rare. Not 100% sure, but it's definitely up there. Very nice. We'll definitely work that into uh, one of my commander decks. All right, pack three. We're already seven minutes in and we've done two packs. This is gonna be a long video. I do not like to rush through. Not when I, you know, not paying this much for a box. We got Whisperer, Tumble Magnet. Go a little faster through the commons. The Spell Bomb, of course. We're gonna get a Brainstorm here. Nope, a Fairy Mechanist. Surge Node. The Thraben Inspector. First Uncommon is a Bloodshot Trainee. Into an Is It Charm. Not bad. Haven't opened this yet. That's pretty cool. And a Drown in Sorrow. We'll put that one in blue for now. And a Drown in Sorrow. Our token is a treasure. We've got a foil common Darksteel Axe. A common foil Glint Sleeve. Into our rare slash mythics. Our first rare is a Open the Vaults. Return all artifacts and enchantment cards from all graveyards, all graveyards to the battlefield under their owner's control. Very cool. I've not opened this yet either. So that's nice. Glad to get some new. Oh, some mythic Chris Ron. Come on, feast and famine. Nope. It is body and mind. Whenever a crypt creature deals combat damage, you create a wolf. And that player mills 10 cards. I think... Oops. I think this is... The cheapest sword. Although I could be I could be getting that entirely wrong. But I think that is the cheapest sword. The sword of body and mind. But not bad. We'll take it. I've not hit that one. So two mythics. Only... Four packs in. Let's 
keep it going. Let's get just the. Let's get just a loaded box loaded with mythics. Why not? Got the capsule. Battle rattle. Revoke existence. Conclave naturalists. Less good Rex Age. Surge node. Got a relic runner. The expedition map. Always cool. Angel of the Dawn. Love the artwork on that. Should be uncommons here. Ooh, Springleaf Drum. Very cool. A Death Reap Ritual. Don't even think that one's bad. And the Trash for Treasure. Very nice. Our token is a elephant. Foil uncommon is a veteran explorer. Hmm. Pretty cool. I don't I've never got that before. That's a new uncommon for me. And a foil common battle rattle. Battle rattle shaman. It's a good name. Our first rare is a Fulminator Mage. Not too shabby. And a Baleful Strix, which I've seen opened a lot of times. I don't believe I've ever opened this card for myself. So I know it's a decent little rare, the Baleful, Baleful Strix. So far, so good. I don't know, of all the double masters I've watched, it's like even the bad boxes are good boxes. <clears throat> We've got a clear shot. Might of the masses. Dead driver. Should be uncommons here, coming up. Fortify, that's new I think, for me at least. We've got a gelatinous genesis, it's kind of funny. We've got Mishra's factory, uncommon land, and a thirst for knowledge, not bad. Our token is a tuk tuk. Oil Uncommon, Woodland Champion, and Foil Common is the Glaze Fiend. Alright, what do we got here? We've got a rare Blood Moon. Very nice. Very cool. One of the higher, another higher value rare. Got one of these in my last box. Um, but very cool, awesome artwork. And it's a rare, the Leonin Abunis. Artifacts have hexproof. I think it's pretty, has good utility in the right deck, I would think. All right, two left in the first stack. And so far, so good. All right, the Collector, Predator, there's the Glaze Fiend, some more Gauntlets, Sabotage, Iron League Steed, the Cathodian, all right, we've got a Painsmith, pretty cool, oh, Flicker Wisp. Very nice, useful uncommon. And the Galvanic Blast. All right, token is a plant. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is a foil rare. So let's go through it in order here. That's blue, I didn't really see. Could it be Psychrift? We've got a Ravenous Trap. 
Going into another rare. Kemba, the car regent. The first foil is a steel sabotage. And a foil rare. Oh, it's a creature. The Baleful Strix. Very nice. Can't complain there. Nice little foil rare. Baleful Strix. Pretty good little uh, right side stack here. Got Supernatural Stamina, The Reunion, Cast Down, not even bad, Fierce Empath, another Steed, whoa, 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 yikes, hopefully didn't spoil anything there, I didn't notice anything, maybe one of the foils, Sanctum Spirit, alright, we've got a Core Tapper, the dude looks like Thor, channeling that lightning. A hidden stockpile. And Chief of the Foundry. Not bad. All right, got a copy. Common, ooh, nice. Nice little foil common there. Ever flowing chalice. And a squirrel. Chattering squirrel. Chatter of the squirrel, in fact. Alright. We've got a rare here. Ooh, rugged prairie. Very nice for filter land. And it's a rare. Lux Cannon. Pretty cool. I This is a new rare for me too. Not bad. Seems useful. Alright, let's go middle next. Middle stack next. Two, four, six, eight. I feel like the left side always has the heat. But I don't know. So far, we've got two Mythics. If we get two per stack, that's not bad. I'm gonna lubricate here, hold on. All right, we've got a Goblin Gavalier. Sanctum Gargoyle. Ancient Stirrings, first time seeing that one. Another Skin Wing. Restoration, Rage, all right, Master Splicer, the Throne of Geth, and the Glass Dust Hulk, yeah, let's keep going from the back, an Angel, looking fierce, a foil ancient stirrings. Very cool. And a foil sanctum gargoyle. All right, our first is a rare adaptive automaton. And another rare. This is a blade splicer. I don't think I've ever gotten this one. Create a golem. Golems you control have first strike. I know the automaton's not bad. That pack was was pretty light though overall. But that's okay. That's why there are 24 packs. Alright. We've got Sanctum Gargoyle. Salivating Gremlins. scavenger there. My piles are getting messy and that bothers me. Crushing vines. 
Nice, another Urza's Tower. I guess we're just only going to get towers. Towers and Wellsprings. Glint Sleeve Artisan. All right, first uncommon is Disciple of the Vault. Ooh, Dread Return. Not bad at all. And an Unlicensed Disintegration. All right, we've got a mirror. Kind of sped through that one. Oh, there's another rare. Kind of spoiled it. It's two color, but let's go. Let's go through it here. Ooh, the Vexing Shusher for our first rare. Very nice. I think the price on this came down a lot, kind of from what I was looking, but we'll just hang on to it. And a rare. Sharoom the Hegemon. When it enters the battlefield, you may return artifact card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Very cool. I've never gotten that before. I love to see some new stuff that I've not hit. We've got a foil iron bully and our foil rare. Looks like a filter. Nice. The Cascade Bluffs. Very cool. So foil filter land. Cascade Bluffs. Put that in this in the rare pile. Probably about due for a mythic here. Almost halfway through the box. This pack and the next will be halfway. Like I said, it's gonna be a long video, but do not like to rush the greatness that is Double Masters. But a lot of fun with this. Let me check the focus. Steel Sabotage. Don't need any more gauntlets. Should be getting to the uncommons here. Ooh, Pongify. Very cool. Crazy looking chimpanzee into a weapons trainer and a clone shell the pongify is nice all right our token is a shapeshifter plow in the fields into a foil uncommon welding jar not bad And a common puzzle knot. Welding jar is not bad. All right, we've got a rare two one Phyrexian Revoker. Not a bad card. And oh, we've got a mythic Mark Zug. Not familiar with this one. Oh, Batter Skull. I saw the Equip 5 and all the text above it. So we've got the Batter Skull. So, so far our Mythics are middle of the road. We've only gotten three. Um, I think the first box I opened, including the box topper, there were nine. So that gives me hope for some, uh, some spice remaining in this box. I got to straighten up these piles. I can't help it. You can't have messy piles. Come on. There we go. All right, pack four of stack two. Defiant Salvager. Oh, look at that. Gauntlets. Magnifying glass, first time for that one. First time for Relic Runner. Uncommon crop rotation, nice. No complaints there. Into a Rush of Knowledge. Not bad. And the Koldotha Flame Fiend. All right. 
We've got a germ, a foil uncommon, golem artisan, nothing too crazy, and a foil common, supernatural stamina. Alrighty. This one's a rare. Another filter, Twilight Mire. Another new filter land for me. I've never hit a Twilight Mire. Into the Mirror Battle Sphere. Love this card. I have this in my rune deck. It does a lot of work in that deck. I know the value of it as you know, just as an individual card is not great, but in that deck it, it does some work. You can blink it and just get a lot of mirrors for a lot of damage. Alright, pack five. We're going to go on a run here soon, I think. That left stack, I'm telling you. Chromatic Star, first time we've seen that. Magnifying Glass Part Dew. Strength of Arms into the Oval Chase Daredevil. And the Treasure Keeper. And enlarge. Get big. Got a Token Thopter. We've got the Common Crushing Vines. And the foil common Balduvian Rage. We might have burnt through both of our foil rares. It seems like we should get two. We've got a rare here. Ooh, Vishkal. Very cool. I like this card. I think it's pretty fun. Vishkal Blood Arbiter. And another rare. This one, ooh, this is a new one for me. This was on my wish list. The Hammer of Nizan. Whenever it or another equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may attach that equipment to target creature you control. Equip creature gets plus two plus O oh and has indestructible. Very cool. This was on my wish list. Not necessarily because I have a place for it in a deck, but just because it was a decent value rare that had eluded me so far. So, ha, I got you. The Hammer of Nizan is mine. All right, continuing on here. This is super crumbly. This one just fell apart. All right, Driver of the Dead. Weapons. Pillage. More gauntlets. Read those clouds. Alright, should be uncommons. We have Hinder. Alright, cool art. Not a great, not a great spell. The Pentad Prism. And the Pyrewild Shaman. into a, spoil the foil there, cat, foil accom accomplished automaton, and a foil metallic rebuke. Alrighty. Oh, we've got a mythic here, Vulcan Baga. Chrome Mox. Very nice. Very cool. Got a little, is that on the one behind it? Nope. A little bit of whiting in this corner here. Not sure if it'll show, but Chrome Mox, very nice. Can we get a double mythic? Usually the mythic's the second one in the pack. Nope, just a rare. But it is the progenitor mimic. Not bad. We will take the Chrome Mox all day. That's our first first mythic from uh, the center stack there. And the rares have not been as strong from the center stack either. 
but that's okay. We have time. We got nine packs left, ten including this one. Salivating Gremlins. Gleaming Barrier. All right, we've got Uvenwald Mysteries, Ulvenwald, a Sphinx Summoner. Haven't gotten many of the real good on commons yet either, have we? There's one of them. Oubliette. Very nice. We've got an Ooze. A Foil Common, which is the Costly Plunder. And a Foil Common, which is the Fortify. All right, let's see what's behind this oubliette. Got a rare, this one. The high market. Not bad. And a rare. Maelstrom Pulse. Destroy target non-land permanent and all other permanents with the same name. That's a new rare for me, too. I've not hit that one yet. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, last pack of the middle stack. So it's been about 15 minutes of stack here. Just, just fine by me. Stirrings, dragon. Like runner. Oh, the plunder. The blade. And the Welding Jar. And two. Joyer is familiar. Cool looking card. I like the owl with the goggles or whatever. And the Celestia Guild Mage. Alright. We've got a wolf. Oh, foil uncommon. Disciple of the Vault. That looks pretty cool in foil. Looks like he's at a rock show or something. And a common rapacious dragon. All right, can we get another mythic in the middle stack? Not this one. Ooh, wound reflection, though. Very nice. I would love to get the um, boon reflection. But we'll take wound reflection. And a rare blood spore. Thrinax. This is not one I've seen a lot of. What is this? Hmm. That is very interesting. I don't know if that's good or desirable. My hunch is kind of no, but that's cool. I've never seen that card. So we're getting some new stuff here. All right. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, we've got nine packs here, so one of them slid over. We'll count this one as part of the uh, as part of the middle, or I guess the right side because we had eight packs in the middle. I counted. Capsule. Sylvan Might. The Spell Bomb into Brainstorm. There we go. The Cathodian. Crib Swap into Invigorate, very nice, the Gore Clan Rampager, and Skull Muncher, <laughs> Mulcher, my bad, either way, still scary. We've got a Token Servo, a Foil Uncommon, this one is the Unlicensed Disintegration, and a foil uncommon. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. We've got a rare here. Oh, some kind of artifact. Ooh, the Mesmeric Orb. Very nice. There we go, Chris. Traded you one, got one back. Very cool. I traded my other version of this card, so I'm happy to get that again. And a rare. 3-5 five, 
Kaldotha Forge Master. Very cool. I've never seen this card before either. I mean, I've seen it. I've never hit this card before either. Very cool. All right, so I just had to take a second there to kind of straighten out my piles and just appreciate this product a little bit because just the the power and the coolness of the stuff in here is, is awesome. So four Mythics so far. There they are. We've got the left stack left. Hoping for, I would think, at least two more Mythics. A couple more good rares I've hit. Cyclonic Rift, but other than that, none of the crazy rares besides the um, filter lands. So I'm hoping for some spicy finish here. Retriever. All right, another is it charm? Not bad. Gelatinous Genesis, second one of those, and Onaginata. Tokens and Elephant. We've got a foil. Ooh, Urza's Mine. Very nice little foil. And a foil Cathartic Reunion. Pretty cool artwork on that, too. All right, how do we start the left stack here? We've got a rare Wooded Bastion. Hitting a lot of the filter lands, which is not a complaint at all. And a rare Conjurer's Closet. That's a duplicate for me. Got that one in my rune deck, but still a powerful rare. Obviously in a blink deck. And that one that one absolutely belongs. Got the tumble magnet. Peace Strider. And Urza's mine. Very nice. And Ancestral Blade should be going into the uncommons here. The first is Sphinx of the Guild Pack into Yavamaya's Embrace. And the Ash Barons, nice. Always useful, pretty much goes into any deck, I feel. All right, we've got a Golem, a common Twisted Abomination, and a common Corridor monitor. Put my foil in the wrong spot. All right. This one is a mythic. It's a legendary. Ooh, the send triplets. That's a new mythic for me. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose target opponent. This turn, that player can't cast spells or activate abilities. Oof. That's so mean. That's so mean. Cool card though. Can we get a double mythic pack? Nope, this one's a rare. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice. Toxic Deluge. That's one of the rares you want to see. Fantastic. Very nice Toxic Deluge. Great board wipe. Pay for it in life and not for mana. You still have some time to, hopefully after that turn, you can kind of recover. Or excuse me, during that same turn, you can kind of recover. So, very good rare. Hope to see some more of, of those kinds of rares out of this side. Some of the better value ones. Dire Fleet. The Tumble Magnet. That's a pretty cool, I like the look of that card, Sift. Fortify, and a Pain Smith. That's some duplicate on commons here. Riddle Smith. And the Sarah Sphinx. 
Still missing a couple of uncommons I'd like to see. Love, I love a Lightning Greaves. I love a Path. Got a Star Star Elemental there. We've got a Foil Uncommon, which is the Oriox Salvagers. And a Fierce Empath. All right. We've got a rare here. Man, yes. There we go. I was thinking Boon Reflection was the green one. Boon Reflection is the white life gain. This is what I wanted right here. The mana reflection. If you tap a mana, if you tap a permanent for mana, it produces twice as much instead. I know the price has come down a lot on this. I feel like it is just objectively good. Expensive to get on the board, but awesome card. And accompanied by the Swift Blade Vindicator. Very nice mana reflection. That's one of the rares that I had on my wish list. All right, Teamer Battle Ridge. Another Urz is mine. Metallic Rebuke. The Crusader. All right, Uncommon Sandstone Oracle. Ooh, Basalt Monolith, nice. Very good uncommon. Definitely one you want to see. It's only my second Basalt Monolith out of all these. And a Dismantle. Destroy target artifact if it had counters. Very cool. Our tokens of Servo. Our foil uncommon is the Valorious, Valorous Stance. Valorious. And a Magnifying Glass. Oil. Oh, got a rare. Meddling Mage. I think this is useful. And we've got a Mythic. What color? Oh, Planeswalker. Come on. I feel like I know what this is. Let's go. Jace the Mind Sculptor. That is big. That is big. I know it's been reprinted a bunch of times. It's not a card I'm super familiar with other than I know that this is a fantastic card. <laughs> so we've got Jace the Mind Sculptor. That is by far, not by too far, I guess we got the Chrome Mox, but that is our best mythic, giving us six mythics total for the box with the Jace. Awesome artwork too. It's a great looking card. I saw blue and I thought maybe uh, Force of Will, but then you see the little um, loyalty counter. Predator. All right, I'll try and go a little faster here because I definitely want to get those box toppers on camera. Another Sphinx Summoner into Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. And, ooh, the Rex Age. Love the artwork. Gotta appreciate. Tokens a clue. Foil Spell Bomb. And a Foil Crib Swap. Alright, can we get one more Mythic here? Got a rare, another filter land, the Flooded Grove. Not too bad. Have we gotten all the filter lands? And another rare here. Ooh, a Rixmethes. Saw when I saw the 12-12. Very cool. Awesome commander. This would be fun. That's a new rare for me. Getting all kinds of new cards here. Loving it, loving it, loving it. The Jace is awesome. That's got me feeling good. All right, three packs left. And then the topper. Hopefully my phone does not run out of memory here. Let's go 
quickly. These are going to be dupes. Urza's Tower. Uncommon is a... Oh, I mixed my piles somewhere along the line. That's okay. Veteran Explorer. The Banshee. And Gollum Artisan. All right, let's go quickly back here. Got the worm. Wouldn't mind a worm coil engine. The construct. The lightning axe foil looks awesome because the axe is just so shiny. And oh, another mythic. Jason Chan. Eight eight. Oh, <laughs> oh, very nice. Avison, Angel of Hope. So nice. Could it be a double mythic pack? Never gotten one. Nope. It's a rare. The Voice of Resurgence. So that gives us seven mythics before the box stopper. And a couple, three of those being very nice. A couple of the better rares. Not Still missing a couple rares that um, I'd like to see, but... Man, Avison, this stuff does not disappoint. All right, the Elvish Aberration, a braid. Could there be another Mythic? Is that too much? Do I need to pump the brakes on that? Hey, you know what, dream big. Alright, Culling Dias into another Hex Mage. And a Woodland Champion. Let's keep going from the back. It's been good for us so far. Oh, Squirrel. That's hilarious. I've never got that token. Foil Riddlesmith and a Foil Capsule. Oh, we've got a rare here. Another <laughs> filter land. That's fantastic. That might be the whole cycle. The whole filter land cycle. And. Oh, come on. Blast Act. Ah, Roiling Earthquake. Close. Not bad. Alright. Last pack before the box topper. So far, so good. And you never know what's in that box topper. All right, the Whisper, Chrome Star, and the Thopter Foundry. Come on, give me a path. Brimstone Volley. And a Lightning Greaves. Okay, we'll take that. Always useful. Always useful Lightning Greaves. All right. We've got a Mirror. A Brimstone Volley. Foil. And a Foil. Argivian Restoration. All right. The last couple rares, we've got a blue Sunken Ruins. Okay, so we had not completed the cycle, but now have we? And this one's a rare. Magus of the Will. Lands and cast spells from your graveyard. Pretty cool. I do not have that one either. All right. Let's see what we can do in this box topper here. Red opening this, just given that there are only two cards. I do not want to damage them. All right, so I think we've had a good box for sure. But let's see if we can't, uh, if we can't get a little more love here. So our first box topper here is a rare. 
Ooh, Urza's power plant. Very cool. Very neat looking. And our second, we've got a mythic. We've got, oh, the doubling season, full art. Amazing, fantastic. So here are our box toppers. We got the Urza's power plant and the doubling season. And four, let me just kind of sort these real quick. Just do it on camera. Our regular mythics, we've got the ensnaring bridge, sword of body and mind, batter skull, the send triplets, chromox, avison, and jace the mind sculptor. Fantastic box, double masters, so fun. Pretty intense, the heart is racing for sure. Hope you enjoyed.